Hello student, welcome to the lecture on group discussion and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Understand concept of strategy and strategic management, explain the levels and role of strategists, describe the features and importance of a strategy, explain the future of strategic management, understand the strategic management in the Indian scenario. Definition of managerial economics Strategy What is good strategy? Strategy is in how to advance the firm's key interests. Good strategy lies in identifying all the critical factors affecting an organization's performance and survival. Good strategy is in making important choices on what factors to address and focusing sharp thinking on them. Good strategy is in design of a specific and coherent way to coordinate and focus actions on all critical factors. Competitive superiority and high coherence in design of economic tax may lead to good economic return. Good economic return does not imply good strategy. It may possibly imply good strategy existed in the past. Features and importance of a strategy. You can generally find one thing in common among successful firms, a capable strategy. A major research effort was recently completed that examined more than 200 management practices at 160 companies over a 10-year period. Strategy plays a first among the top of four critical management practices. Levels of strategy. The first three levels in combination give direction to the enterprise establish the directional map for strategic action and in effect define what is called an organization's strategic plan. It is fourth a component is easily the most complicated and challenging one because it involves not only deciding on but also undertaking the administrative actions needed to convert the strategic plan into results. Indeed, a chess rating the execution of strategy is probably 5 to 10 times more time consuming than is formulating the strategic plan. Role of strategists Every organization has both a strategy and an internal action agenda for executing it however conscious or well considered or imperfect they may be. Sometimes strategic plans are openly stated by management and sometimes they remain implicit in management decision and the organization patterns of operation. The advantages of first-rate strategic thinking and a deep commitment to the strategic management process include the guidance it provides to the entire management hierarchy. The real purpose and value of strategy is to come up with an action plan that will successfully attract buyers, produce a sustainable competitive advantage, boost the firm's market stature, put added competitive pressure on rivals, and push performance to superior levels. Types of strategies Formulation It is useful to consider strategy formulation as part of a strategic management process that comprises three phases diagnosis, formulation and implementation. Strategic management is an ongoing process to develop and revise future-oriented strategies that allow an organization to achieve its objectives considering its capabilities, constraints and the environment in which it operates. Implementation Strategy implementation is a translation of chosen strategy into organizational action so as to achieve strategic goals and objectives. Strategy implementation is also defined as a manner in which an organization should develop, utilize and amalgamate organizational structure, control systems and culture to follow strategies that lead to competitive advantage and a better performance. Developing an organization having potential of carrying out strategy successfully, disbursement of abundant resources to strategy, essential activities, creating strategy, encouraging policies, employing best policies and programs for constant improvement, linking reward structure to accomplishment of results, making use of strategic leadership, concept of strategic management. Strategic management was first introduced as a body of knowledge in the early 1980s. This course was originally introduced by Harvard University in USA in the 1920s and it was then known as business policy. 
The focus of the course was then to integrate the functional areas of business management like accounting, human resource management, finance production, accounting and marketing so that learners could understand the interrelationship and linkages of each of the functional areas with operations and management of the entire organization. Managers and Chief Executive Officers CEO of large corporation adopted some or part of the body of knowledge in strategic management and found potential benefits to their organization. The purpose is to provide an understanding of the field of strategic management, the historical perspective, changing business dynamics and the potential advantages and benefits of strategic management organization. Components of Strategic Management There are three major components in strategic management, namely strategy formulation, strategy implementation, and strategy evaluation and control. In the strategy formulation component, the key elements are vision, mission, goals, and objectives of the organization. In the strategy implementation component, there are at least three key elements that affect strategy implementation. These are organizational structure, people and leadership and organizational system and processes. It is in this component where action begins for the organization and presents a major challenge to many organizations. In the strategy evaluation and control component, the key elements are the evaluation model and processes evaluation criteria and control methods and mechanism for better organizational performance and meeting the organizational objectives. Concept of strategic planning Strategic planning is more than a set of managerial tools. They constitute a mindset and approach to looking at the changes in the internal and external environment that confront the manager using planning as tools strategically then involves essentially a way of thinking, a mental framework or approach, as well as a set of analytic tools. For strategic management to be effectively used, the manager must develop a strategic mentality or outlook. Clearly define the purpose of the organization and to establish realistic goals and objectives consistent with that mission in a defined time frame within the organization capacity for implementation. Communicate those goals and objectives to the organization constituents. Develop a sense of ownership of the plan. Ensure the most effective use is made of the organization's resources by focusing the resources on the key priorities. Provide a base from which progress can be measured and establish a mechanism for informed change when needed. Bring together of everyone's best and most recent efforts have important value in building a consensus about where an organization is going. Strategic management in the Indian scenario. Personal management in India dates back to the report of labor in India which recommended the appointment of officers or labor licensed officers to deal with the recruitment in order to check practices in industry in India, particularly in the area of selection. Labor legislation covers a wide field of activities, but there is much the personal manager could do besides taking up uncovered areas in formulating and integrated personal policy. The rapid growth of industry and the consequent demand created in the country for semi-skilled and skilled workers led government to cover this aspect of personal management by law, the apprentices and the employment exchange. Compulsory notification of vacancies have regulated recruitment in respect of workers and training to some extent. In other words, beginning from the right to hire and ending with the right to fire, all important personal management matters are covered by law. The labor field today has at present three main areas of professional disciplines, labor welfare, industrial relations and personal administration which together have formed the new profession of personal management. The three areas of labor, welfare, industrial relations and personal administration are being looked after by three professional functionaries, welfare officer, labor officer and personal officer. Future of strategic management, level one, shaping and anticipating the future. 
At this level, organizations start out with few assumptions about the business itself, what it is good at and what the future will be like. Management generates alternate scenarios of the future, defines opportunities based on these possible futures, accesses its strength and weaknesses in these scenarios, changes its mission, measurement system, etc. Level 2. Defining what business to be in and their core competencies. Many attempts at strategic planning start at this level, either assuming that the future will be like the past or at least predictable. The future is embodied in the CEO's vision for the future or management does not know where else to start. Management is too afraid to start at level 1 because of the changes needed to really meet future requirements or the only mandate they have is to refine what mission already exists. Level 3. Re-engineering, structurally changing our processes. Either as an aftermath or consequence of level 1 or 2 work or as an independent action, level 3 work focuses on fundamentally changing how work is accomplished. Rather than focus on modest improvements, re-engineering focuses on making major structural changes to every day with the goal of substantially improving productivity, efficiency, quality or customer satisfaction. Level 4. Incrementally changing processes. Organizational changes are focusing in making many small changes to existing work processes. Oftentimes, organizations put in considerable effort into getting every employee focused on making these small changes often with considerable effect. Unfortunately, making improvements on how a budgie whipped or horse-drawn carriages is made will rarely come up with the idea that budgie whips are no longer necessary because cars have been invented. Summary Let us now summarize what we have learned in this section. Strategic management was first introduced as a body of knowledge in the early 1980s. There are three major components in strategic management, namely strategy formulation, strategy implementation and strategy. Rare, strategy decisions are unusual and typically have no precedent to follow. Consequential, strategic decision commits substantial resources and demand a great deal of commitment. Directive, strategic decisions set precedents for lesser decisions and future actions throughout the organization. Strategic decisions are long-term in their impact, they affect and shape the direction of the whole business. The first three levels in combination give direction to the enterprise, establish the directional map for strategic action.